I'm going to take a look now at a little bit of sound design and how you can achieve that maxi sound system deep filtered off bass sound. So this is what I'm talking about. So I've just programmed in a MIDI clip uh, that, that mirrors that in terms of the notes that have been played. And I'm going to use for this Live's analog device. So I'm just going to drag and drop that onto the MIDI track that I've created. So we're going to start completely from scratch. Uh, I'm going to activate the second oscillator, change that to a square wave. Let's just see how that's sounding at the moment. Let's turn filter one on. I'm just going to change that to an LP24, which is more of an aggressive filter than LP12. Low pass, remember. And just filter the sound off. Let's add a little bit of resonance to that. And just to thicken up the sound a little bit, you can add a bit of uh, unison, a bit of detune there. You could also detune the oscillators against one another, have a play around with octaves as well. Just to experiment with the sound that you're looking for. But the most important thing about this sound is applying an envelope to the filter. So to do this, you simply click the filter controls, where it says frequency modulation and env envelope. I'm just going to turn that up to Somewhere there, we're gonna, gonna tweak that in a moment. And also you might choose to also modulate the resonance with an envelope as well. Maybe not quite as much as the, uh, as the frequency modulation. We're getting there. Let me just uh, listen to the maxi sound system. Maybe it needs to be filtered off just a little bit more. Envelope on the uh, resonance, just turn that down a little bit. And now you can play around with the decay time of the envelope. We're getting there, maybe a little bit less resonance. And that's nearly there now. Let me just try and experiment with maybe changing this oscillator to a sawtooth. It's up to you whether that's a, a, a square wave or a sawtooth wave, just depends on the on the flavour of sound that you're looking for. What you might also need to do is just shape the amp envelope a little bit. To have those notes ring on just that little bit. A um, bit of sustain, a bit of release. And if you need a bit more bit more bottom end on that sound, what you could try doing is duplicate that track. So you've got the exact same MIDI clip playing. 
turn the second oscillator off and change the first one to a sine wave, which will give you a real nice, you pitch it down low enough, give a real nice bit of bottom end added to that, uh, that first analog. Pitch it down by an octave. Maybe that's a little bit too low, so. And just mix that in underneath your bass sound. Just give you more or less of that real low bottom end. So in a nutshell, what you need is two oscillators to get a nice thick sound compared with just one. Detune them slightly against one another or add a bit of unison detune. LP24 rather than LP12, so you can really aggressively filter off the sound. Touch of resonance, you can see how, how much I've filtered that off. Um, using a filter envelope, frequency modulation, turn that up to taste. Also, if you want to modulate the resonance as well, turn the envelope control up there to taste. And then it's a case of playing around with the frequency, the decay time of the envelope, these two values here. And then I've just changed the uh, volume envelope slightly so that rather than short, sharp notes like that, I've got a much thicker, fuller sound. So even after the envelope has closed the sound off, we're still getting that, that note sort of uh, continuing to play. So that's how you could get that sort of filtered off, real filtered off deep maxi sound system sort of bass.